This is Dr. David Waska. He's a Phoebe cardiologist. Dr. Waska, how common is heart disease? Well, heart disease is extremely common. It's the most common cause of death in men and women and in many races as well. And when we talk about heart disease, what does that encompass? What, what do we mean when we say heart disease? Well, usually I like to look at the heart um, in simplistic terms. For example, the heart um, has plumbing, which would be your coronary arteries. The heart has an electrical system. Okay, that's the conduction uh, of electrical impulses that allow the heart to beat. Um, it has muscle. So all of those elements can be affected by heart disease. And so when somebody says, I have heart disease, it's a very uh, generic term. Uh, you know, they may mean one of many things. How do we know when we have heart disease? What are some of those symptoms that may show up? Well, the, the classic symptoms uh, are those that you hear about, which would be the uh, chest pain, usually in the center of the chest, perhaps the left arm, but in many cases, right arm or both arms. And the chest discomfort doesn't necessarily have to be a real pain either. It's usually a pressure-like sensation, a heaviness, a tightness, like somebody giving you a bear hug, that type of thing. Uh, this can be associated with uh, shortness of breath or you just can't breathe as well. Uh, a reduced exercise tolerance to where let's say six months ago you could walk three miles and over the past month or two you're walking a quarter of a mile or half a mile and get really short of breath and can't go on. Uh, these are changes that are very concerning. Um, in addition, you know, you can have other symptoms uh, such as nausea, vomiting, um, excessive sweatiness, like in a cool room or a cool building. That's a worrisome sign, especially in women. Women can present very differently, where maybe shortness of breath is their primary complaint and not really chest pain. So what's the best way for us to try to avoid those symptom symptoms and heart disease? What can we do to keep our hearts healthy? Well, I typically like to look at you know, two, two things. One is there's a set of non-modifiable risk factors and a set of modifiable risk factors. The things that are non-modifiable are things we can't control. I mean, you can't control genetics. Um, you know, you can't control your age or if you're a male or female, that type of thing. Uh, the modifiable risk factors are the things that are within our control. That means not to smoke, to exercise regularly, uh, to have good weight control, to you know, take your medications for other conditions that may exacerbate or cause heart disease, such as control of blood pressure, control of diabetes, etc. So if those things are within our control and we need to aggressively uh, address those issues. Um. Does a heart healthy diet mean that we can't, you know, enjoy our favorite food that may not be so healthy every now and then? No, I, I like to look at that as, you know, we, we can't all be saints, right? Uh, you know, we, we have to live a little bit and enjoy a little bit. Um, my mama was right. She said everything in moderation. And so, you know, you can eat uh, steak but just, you know, very occasionally. And if you eat meat, for example, uh, eat lean meats with less fat. Um, can you have fried foods? Well, again, uh, on occasion, okay? This is certainly not meant to be any endorsement of those types of foods. Uh, typically, you know, we like to uh, tell our patients to eat, you know, salads, uh, baked chicken, not fried chicken, um, fish, you know, et cetera. How serious a factor is genetics? I mean, if we have a, a strong history of heart disease in our family, what do we need to do? Should we be really worried? Well, um, knowing if your mother and father uh, have heart disease or any first degree relatives uh, is very important because genetics plays a significant role uh, as a risk factor that we cannot control. So knowing that I think is very important and I think you know, one should be more diligent about our lifestyle uh, choices uh, if we know that there's a history of heart disease in the family and perhaps seek out your uh, physician uh, to see if any uh, diagnostic testing would be indicated.
Dr. Waska, thank you for your expertise and for helping us keep our hearts healthy. My pleasure.